this is sweet golden nectar of the gods. And by golden nectar, I mean honey. And by gods, I mean bzzz, the honeybee. These incredible creatures create one of the most beautiful things on this planet, the honeycomb. Did you know that the entire thing is edible? Yeah. Now, before we indulge, let's talk a little bit about how it's made because it's freaking fascinating. This is a worker bee. Let's call her Bay. Now, note that all worker bees are female, so Beyonce was right. We do run this mother. As these ladies fly around pollinating, they suck up sweet nectar from the flowers, which they store in a very special place called the honey stomach. Bay flies back to the hive and meets up with other worker bees whose job it is to receive the nectar straight from the other one's mouth. Uh, this one's name is Anse. So Bay and Anse basically do this regurgitation ceremony. It's delicious, I guess. This is all a very general explanation, but throughout the whole process, there are enzymes in the bees which convert the nectar into honey. So the bees deposit the liquid into the comb and then they work together by quickly fanning their wings to help evaporate some of the water in there. And then it turns into that thick honey, which we all know. The comb is also made by the bees from wax which they secrete and they form these perfect hexagonal cylinders, which happens to be the most strongest, uh, efficient shape in design and nature. Again, the entire honeycomb is edible. One of the most common ways to enjoy it is to just pop a chunk into some hot tea, let the wax melt, and just drink it all. And if you've never eaten it before, this is how you do it. You can either consume the whole thing, so just swallow the wax as well as the honey, or eat it like I like to do, which is chew on it, suck out the honey, and then let the wax collect between your teeth, and then you can just take it out like this. Mmm, there's a light floralness to it, so, excuse me. You just take out the wax, like that. Here are my five favorite ways to eat honeycomb. The easiest way is on toast with some butter. Just spread it on for a perfect little sweet snack. If you love honey with yogurt, top your yogurt with a little chunk of honeycomb and some fresh fruit. It adds a really nice texture. It's also great in salads. I like it with some mixed greens, cheese like ricotta salata and radishes. My favorite way is to present it on a charcuterie board with different cheeses. I like a soft cheese, blue, hard cheese like manchego, some meats, crackers, fresh and dried fruit, and a nice honeycomb chunk with a dipper. Fried chicken with a little honey drizzle isn't new, but add honeycomb instead. It just elevates the whole salty sweet experience. Mmm. Oh, honey, honey. 